Well, it's the final stop on Channel 4 News' pop-up week, and we've been out and about all week trying to find out what our viewers, the issues that concern them. Today, obviously, I've been in Edinburgh. The feel-good factor, it's what the Edinburgh Festival is all about. <laughs> the only people looking glum, doing it for effect. But what's real life like when the show's over? Is the government's economic recovery anything to shout about? You certainly think there's a heck of a buzz. Gone. Next week, the festival ends and the town sort of goes a wee bit quiet. The government talks about green shoots. I mean, do you think you're feeling them here in Scotland? Mm, yes, I do. Whether a lot of people don't, I don't know. Of course, if the recovery is not as speedy as you'd like, in Scotland there is now at least the possibility of an alternative way of doing things. So when the government does talk about recovery, would you say that you're feeling it at all? Or? Uh, no, I would say they're probably talking about recovery in the southeast of England. Independence, prospect of, or possibility of independence fill you with more optimism? Yeah, it does actually. It does actually. The clues in the t-shirt maybe? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you think realistically Scotland could stand on its own two feet? We have the talent, we have the resources. Um, it's whether we have the heart to actually do it. The fact that I'm spending more money suggests to me that I'm feeling more relaxed and optimistic about jobs and just generally. The big issue facing Scotland at the moment is independence. Uh -huh. um, does the prospect of that or the possibility of that make you feel more or less optimistic? Less optimistic. I'm very, very worried. I think it's a very, very short-sighted proposition. Um, I don't. I just worry that people aren't thinking in the long term. There's still time for people here to decide what position to take on independence and how the economy plays in the meantime will undoubtedly be a factor. All this week we've been asking you to get involved online. Today we wanted to know what issues are troubling people from Edinburgh and yes, independence was one of them. Black Dog Tales said, Indie referendum in 2014. Debate has barely moved beyond scaremongering. And adds the poet wants to know, why can Edinburgh County Council spend so much on trams but fail to provide me with an effective education? And you can join me for more after the show if you can bear it. I'll be hosting a live online debate at www.channel4.com slash news C4 News Pop-Up on the economic recovery with people we've met this week up and down the country. You can watch live on our website, channel4.com forward slash news from 8.30. But until then, here's Cathy Newman in London. Thanks, Jackie. Loving the sticker on the dog.